All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Crozier, and we're going to do the power rule proof. Um, we're going to start with an equation like y is equal x to the n, and we're going to prove that its derivative is n times x, n minus 1. And, and real simple, if we just make an easy one, x to the fourth, um, we should know by now that the der derivative is simply a 4x to the third, but we want to prove that y is... Why is that okay to do? Why does that happen? All right, it's a five-step proof. I'm going to go through the steps right here, and they're already written out. So first step is that y is equal to x to the n. Well, that's given to us. And next step, if we want to find the derivative, we're going to use the difference quotient. We're going to say the derivative is the limit as h goes to 0 of x to the n, and then a little bit more added on to it. So we're going to put an h here and raise that to the n power and divide it by h. It should be very familiar at this point. It's called our difference quotient for calculus. All right, so now all we got to do is expand this binomial. Well, how do you do that? Well, it's this crazy um, expression right here. It's binomial expansion. Uh, the first coefficient's 1. And then we count down with the x's. x to the n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, dot, 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 forever, till we get x to the 0. And then what about the h's? Well, the h's are h to the 0, h to the 1st, h to the 2nd, h to the 3rd, dot, 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 h to the n, however far we need to count. Then the coefficients. The coefficients are found by Pascal's triangle. Well, that's one way to find them. Whoops, got those backwards. Um, we can use Pascal's triangle to figure them out. And the most important thing is the second, the first coefficient's 1, of course, because that's the outside row. The second coefficient is the next row, which is the value of the exponent itself. So I just put an n there. Now the, the second coefficient, the third coefficient are more difficult to find and we're not even gonna name them right now. We're just gonna call them. This is the n sub two and n sub three. We don't know the value of that, but it's not necessary as you'll see later. All right, now that we have this long expression, binomial expansion, we can do some simplifying. And the first simplifying to see is that this right here is the same as this right here, so that they are gone. We have one of them minus one of them. They are gone. The second thing to do see is that everything else has an H in it. There's an H, an H, an H, and a whole bunch of H's there. So I can divide this H in there. And if I divide the H there, it's gone. If I divide the H there, now H2 becomes H1. And right here, h3 divided by h becomes h2. And right here, h to the n divided by h becomes h to the n minus 1. So I did some simplifying, where I eliminated those. And I divided by h, which my h's are gone. So we have the same thing, just a simplified version. And why do we have a simplified version now? Because now we can find the derivative. We can substitute in h as 0. So if I put a 0 here, and here, and here, and everywhere in between, all of these are gone. All of those expressions will be zeroed out, and I'll be left with just that. And that should look familiar, because that is what we've been trying to prove. That says if you want to find a derivative, you bring down the n, and you subtract one here. All right, we have proven the power rule. This is just an example. This is the proof showing that it works for every number n.